Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed, and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how to export 15% records to one file and remaining ones to another file in SSIS. So recently, I got a question from one of my subscriber, Shirwan, and he asked to that he has 1,000 records and he want to send the 15% rows to one destination and 85% rows to another destination. So I thought to make a video on this one. So let's jump to the demo. So in my SQL Server instance, I got a table, email table and which has 10,000 records so I want to send the 15% records to one destination and 85% uh, records to another destination so I will be actually writing the data to the two different CSV files so let me open the SSIS package because we want to export the data so we will be using the data flow task here so we can just use the data flow task and now in the source the data is in the SQL server so we will be using an OLEDB source here so I can just drag and drop the OLEDB source into the data flow task and then we can configure the OLEDB source. First we need to make a connection. So our table exists in the test database. So we need to make a connection to the 2017 instance to the test database. So I already have a connection here that I used earlier. So I can just select this connection. And now from data access mode, I can actually write the query to select the data. So select a star from email. So this is my table. So these are the columns, five columns, those will be exported. So I can click on OK. Now in the transformations we have a percentage sampling transformations which can actually divide the data into different percentage. So I can connect the OLEDB source with the percentage sampling transformation and then I can configure the percentage sampling transformation. So I want 15% of the rows so I can change the 10 to 15 so it will make a output of 15%. So I can call this output as 15% output, 15% output okay and then I can call the another output to the 85% output because the remaining data will go into another output okay so now from the percentage sampling transformation there will be two output 15% output and the 85% output so I can click on okay now because we want to write the data to the CSV file so we can use the flat file destination here so I can just drag and drop the two flat file destination into the data flow task and I can connect the one 15% output to one destination and the 85% output to the another destination and here I can create the, some empty files so that the data can be exported to those files so I can call the first file as 15% CSV and I can copy and paste it and I can call the second file as 85% so both the files are empty as of now now I can go back to the SSIS package and I can just make a connection to those files. So I can select the file type is delimited and I can click on OK. And uh, I will call the connection manager as 15% and I will browse the file. File type is CSV and I can select the 15% file from here. Column name is in the first data row so I will click on this checkbox and here in the advanced we can check the column. So this is good. We can click on OK. We can click on mapping. So all the input columns have been mapped with the destination column so we can click on OK. So we have configured the one destination now we can configure the another destination as well. So we can click new to create a new flat file connection manager click OK and we can call the another flat file connection manager as 85% and we can just browse the file. So the file type CSV 85% click open column names in the first data row preview data so this is good click OK. You can click on mapping so this is good click ok so our package is ready it will read all the 10,000 records from the source and then using the percentage sampling transformation it will create two output the first output will be 15 percent output another output will be 85 percent output and it will export the data to two different csv files so let me run the ssis package and now you can see that it has inserted around 85 percent records to one destination and inserted around 15 percent records to one destination so I can go back to the D files location and I can open the 15% CSV file. So this file contains around 15% records, around 1434 records and the another file it contains around 85% records. Yeah. Yeah. So it contains around 8568 records. Yeah. So this is how we can just export the some percentage of records to one destination and another percentage of records to another destination using SSIS. So I think that's it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.